welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dallas and I have two kids. One is three and one is one and they are a handful. And so today I decided to talk about life as a stay-at-home mom and the pros and cons that that brings. I have my phone, my notes down here, so if you guys catch me looking at them, that's that's what I'm that's what I'm looking at. I just wanted to make sure I wrote down all of the points um, that and didn't miss out anything. So here we go. Let's get started. I had my first child at 20, 26, 28 is when I had my other one, right? Yes. Okay. Before I even got pregnant, I never expected to be a stay-at-home mom or I never thought about it. And when I became pregnant, the closer that I came to having having my kids, um, I realized that I, if I got the chance that I would love to be a stay-at-home mom with them. And now, <laughs> before that, I, I was never around kids like that, so I didn't fully know what to expect. And let me tell you, <laughs> that was a complete life-changing thing. I truly did not know what I would be in for. <laughs> I'm still so grateful that I am able to stay at home with them. For me and my family, like, that's really important to us and uh, we make the sacrifices that we can make to be able to do that. And I also know that time is flying and Milo's already in school and Bianca will soon be in school in like another two years and I know that's just gonna fly by because Mila Mila being at home flew by and it's just crazy. So I want to enjoy the time that I do have with them now. So I will start with the cons and end with the pros. Con number one, it's a lot of constant work. So I don't know if you saw my stay at home mom. I will link that video. That's one of the things that was a major um, change for me. Not being able to do what you want to do <laughs> throughout the day and your life revolves around them. And I know people have said that a lot before I had kids, but I didn't realize, realize, until after, you are literally doing everything for them. Like, one has to eat, one has to, you have to get down for a nap, you have to make a bottle for this one, you have to entertain them, you have to, it's just, it's just constant work. So that was a huge thing. Keep in mind, as I talk about any of this, it's still so worth it. Two, you cannot do anything for yourself, really not even go to the bathroom <laughs> by yourself. In the beginning, I was like, no, like I'll be able to, you know, use the bathroom by myself. I'll just have to train them to like stay up. It doesn't work. And if you're trying to like take some me time, um, it's very hard because, okay, say one of my major things is working out and I try to work out every day. And one of the things that my kids do is okay Mila has to go to the bathroom so sometimes I have to help her um, or they're hungry so then I have to take a break and feed them it's always something the next one is you don't have the freedom to just go so before me and Kyle used to be like oh we want to go watch a movie or oh we want to just grab food and you can't just really go like you have to find babysitters you have to um, thankfully we have our parents here so that is amazing they are so amazing I love our parents. <laughs> thank you guys if you're watching this, thank you. <laughs> um, no, that is truly a blessing because I can't imagine if we didn't have them to um, help out, we wouldn't be able to do half the things that we do. Like just last weekend, me and Kyle were able to have like kind of a date day together and that was really nice. And if you do have the kids and you want to go grab food or something quick, it's not really quick because you're like, okay, I got to get them dressed, I got to pack up everything, I got to make sure I have everything make the bottle, take the bottle, uh, pack of snacks or whatever, anything you need, no matter where you're going. You know, something is always happening. It's not just easy to leave and go where you want to go. You can't nap when you want to. Sometimes we'll nap together. Um, it's Bianca doesn't really nap as much as Mila did, but she'll sleep through, throughout the whole night. You might get a good hour, maybe an hour and a half out of her. I'd rather get things done than nap. Unless I had a really bad night, then I'm like, okay, I'll try to lay down. But, you know, it's not the same. It's not the same as wanting to nap for however long you want to nap. <laughs> Another thing is the reason why I always wear, I'm wearing like workout clothes or something like that is because I'm always getting like spit up on or food on or 
something, some sort of dirt on me, on my clothes throughout the day because they're just kids. So, you know, you'll always find something on my clothes. <laughs> and then when I, when I get ready to like go out somewhere nice and I have to deal with them, I'm always like, okay, the last thing I'm going to put on is my clothes. I'm gonna get everything else ready, then put on my clothes and then just head out the door before they do anything to my clothes. <laughs> okay, another point is talking on the phone is difficult. Or another thing, talking on camera is difficult because I don't know if you saw in my last video, or what I feed my one-year-old one-year-old in a day, but talking on the phone or recording, I feel like that's when they just want to talk. I don't know if it's because like they hear me talking and they want to join in on the conversation, um, but that's what they do. I remember talking to my friend. She has like six kids, and she lives in she lives in Thailand. Her kids were like all over the place like trying to talk to her, trying to steal her food and all this. When I had my kids, they do the same thing. I feel like whenever I'm talking to my friends, I'm not, they feel like I'm not focusing on them completely, but I am, but it's just difficult because I have to keep stopping and being like, okay, Mila, what do you want? Bianca, I'll get this for you, okay. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. Oh. And the last con is our income getting cut down to one person and thankfully, the Lord has continued to bless us so that I can stay home, but it is difficult at, at some points. You lost an income. Before I had Mila, I was working, um, and we lost that income because, you know, every dollar counts, <laughs> especially when you have a lot of bills. It's definitely a sacrifice that we have to make um, if this is our priority, and right now it is. Um, but also, for me, in feeling like Okay, Kyle's making the money. Sometimes I have a hard time with that, and I'm just being honest with you guys, but sometimes I have a hard time with that and being like, uh, I don't know if I could, I feel like I can't spend this or I can't spend that because like it's our money, but like I feel like in a way I didn't work for it, but I did because I'm taking care of the kids, and if not, we would be paying for another person to be taking care of the kids, so, um, let me know below if any of you other stay-at-home moms feel that way. What you do to kind of combat that in your mind. Kyle doesn't make me feel that way, but it's so it's just my problem. <laughs> now on to pros. First pro is that you get to decide um, the way that you want to raise your kids in terms of your values, your morals, the way that you want them to do things. Um, an example of her not letting me vlog my video because she just wants to be with me, I love that. The next one is that you get to be around these kiddos 24-7, um, which I love, and I try to take, even though sometimes it's frustrating and difficult, I try to take as much advantage as I can of it, because I know soon they're gonna be out of the house, and soon they're going to be, like time's just flying. Mila's already in school for like half the day, and I miss her. But um, yeah, just trying to take advantage of that time because it's not gonna last long. The next pro is that there is never a dull moment with them. <laughs> they always keep you on your toes and they always keep you smiling. They always do like funny things and things to bring joy to you. I know for Kyle, one of the big things was that when he came home, like Mila starts running out to him and now Bianca does. Like she gets excited to see him. She starts waddling out to, outside <laughs> and get so excited to see them. Never a dull moment and they bring you so much joy. Another pro is that you can keep their schedules. You know, always as a mother, you feel like you can do it best. It's always more comforting to know you're, okay, you're feeding them on time, you're giving, you know how much they should be eating, you know when they should be sleeping, you know how much time they should be napping, you know if they should nap longer or shorter, blah, blah, blah. So it's just better, easier that way for you. Next pro is that you are always there for them and you can learn who they are more. Just learning their personality. You're gonna be there for their first steps. You're gonna be there for the first time they sit up, stand, whatever. You're gonna be there, which is so special. Also another thing is seeing your kids learning um, and just growing and figuring things out on their own and doing things for themselves is just a highlight because you're like, oh my goodness, you went from this like little baby to now this little person doing all of these things and growing. And that is so rewarding to see. Another pro is that you save money through daycare. Even though you lost one income, you are still gaining that in a way by not paying for daycare, 
saving gas, not dropping them off all the time, going back and forth. You're making lunches at home. The last pro I have is having two kids, you're able to see them start to entertain each other, see them start to play together and grow in their relationship. And that is a very special thing. I love watching them play. Just hearing them laugh together is just so rewarding and so special. So yes, that is my pros and cons of being a stay-at-home mom. I'm not saying that either being a stay-at-home mom is better than being a working mom. I'm not saying that at all. I give props to moms who do both because either one is hard <laughs> it's all it's all um a challenging time but also a rewarding time say bye say bye say bye yeah <laughs> all right guys thank you so much peace and love please comment like subscribe all the things peace and love